Soundhound is an innovator of conversational intelligence that offers an independent voice artificial intelligence platform that enables uh, businesses across industries to deliver conversational experiences to their customers. You must, you must have uh, come across this website and uh, the stock appears to be showing strength within a longer term bearish trend and it seems also that um, certain analysts have also determined that you and I, retail investors and indeed uh, the big ones, prefer stocks like um, Soundhound as it, as it concerns um, um, AI because of course we have seen that uh, Microsoft has gone on to invest uh, over $350 million in uh, uh, open, open AI and open AI obviously is a, is a small company or rather a compass companies that are strictly focused on um, AI and so that is what open a what Soundhound is and indeed open uh, AI you know so yes it seems that is what the case is you know it seems that uh, is what uh, investors have noticed they, they prefer these stocks indeed also they also prefer all the stocks that are related that provide what they need like Nvidia you know, a, 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 a Nvidia, I mean, the companies that are providing their hardware mm -hmm. that uh, their 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 programs are going to run on, their their models will run on. You know, and these things, these uh, hardware cost tons and tons of money. You know, in just one minute, we're talking about up to probably close to a million dollars of, uh, of 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 expense. You know, running the language models these um, companies have. You know. So yes, this is what we're seeing now. You know, we have this uh, rally when the when Microsoft, uh, or rather, when we heard that Google had also, uh, you know, gone on to uh, show the world their own um, AI uh, uh, platform. Bird. That was the day we saw this huge spike on a lot of um, smaller um, AI stocks, including Soundhound. It reached four point six five dollars, and since. Uh, you know, retreated slightly below where it's um, now imagine imagine 200 day moving average is slightly below that fall at uh, three point three dollars and since has since continued to extend. You know, so yes, what we're seeing here is that that you know it's uh, showing strength within a longer term bearish trend. Its MACD is uh, above the signal line and shares are presently are presently 23.2 percent above the 200 day moving average. However, that moving average is declining, declining, implying that uh, caution is still warranted. It's also outperforming the S&P 500. Momentum is also strongly bullish. The 14 period slow Silasco Slato is rising as investors pay high prices for SOU and stock. The unbalanced volume indicators is bullish. They stop off the indicators positive and suggest that buyers are presently more active than sellers. They are more active than sellers. Buyers are more active than sellers and also pay, they also pay more, paying high prices for the stock. The short interest is not um, the open short interest that is open to you and I is only 4.43%. Not fantastic at all, not at all, you know. And also, but on the off, off exchange, this is where you know the exchange the dark pools, you know, the, the short interest there is 54.53%. Is this is even though it's not it's not um if available to us, it also gives you an impression that there is some skepticism towards the stock, you know. So, um, but openly. Market participants are not skeptical about the stock. They're not skeptical. This is, you know, amongst not there are good. There's a good about that. There's also you know, not so good about that. You know, you you really want to see skepticism towards the stock. You want to see the short interest of the stock in double digits. You know, probably yeah. Of this of late, we all prefer to see things like thirty percent, forty percent short interest. You know, but of course, you know. Um, maybe for those for stocks that have those sort of short interest maybe some fundamental issues are, are, are out of place but at least something healthier than this you will probably be uh happy about that you know but in any case you know it's not a do or die affair you know um we know that this year is the year of uh ai stocks the year of ai you know we have seen that uh, with um you know, obviously microsoft and google all trying to you know make sure that they are not uh caught lacking you know, in that regard you know and indeed it is you and i retail investors who are who are saying that it is uh, stocks like suun that is that has that it, you know these are the companies and their stocks these are the ones that are actually doing what is needed and indeed the companies uh that are providing them the hardware and you know that 
you know, they need to do all this. But you know, the Google and Microsoft, they are not irrelevant, including Amazon, they're not relevant because the hardware that is com that comes from Nvidia and then the model that comes from um, the likes of um, SoundHound, they all go to the 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 cloud where um, Amazon, so the Amazon, yes, um, Microsoft and Google are the three biggest players. So they're all very much relevant, you know. But indeed, yes, the big tech companies, these three, Amazon, Amazon, um, Google and Microsoft, they are essentially not exactly absolutely, you know, they are, they're much more diverse, you know. So that's why, you know, uh, you and I prefer SoundHound because SoundHound is right into it. It is what it's you know, totally, strictly and absolutely about AI, you know. So, uh, so we have on the chart, this is the one day chart. This is a daily chart. We have uh, that, that December sixth spike. This, this is on uh, on SoundHound is, uh, is is on is on, 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 on it was on the eighth of February. That was when it reached its own peak. But for um, uh, C three AI, it was on the sixth, and also probably for Big Bear um, AI it was on the sixth. But on the for the for SoundHound, it was its peak was on the. On the 8th of February, okay, so it was at uh, 4.67 dollars. Since that time, I've told you, yeah, it's uh, pulled back now, got support from its uh, 10 day moving average and also slightly below its 200 day moving average and has continued to advance now 23% above its 200 day moving average, okay. And what also uh, slightly 23% above its 200 day moving average and slightly above its uh, 10 day moving average. So we have uh, pro projections. Or rather, okay, the, okay, projections, upper projection on the daily chart, the topmost we have is 6.91. This, this, is, this is, you know, pretty much a modest projection, $6.87. With the next one be, be, uh, below that is uh, 4.99, below that is 4.25, all the way down to the, the support there is, uh, the most extreme support is uh, $0.01. So. I think to, to some extent this is a very modest uh, projection 6.89 so let's uh it's good it's good it's good to, to have uh, such modest projections so let's go to the weekly chart do we have anything on the weekly we don't have anything there are no projections there so we are just going to make do okay let's go far again and see look at the monthly projection they have they have we don't have anything there okay so let's uh, even quickly have a look at the one minute chart and see what we have there. One minute chart. We have uh, most extreme projections, 4.15. So let's return and stick with the daily chart. The daily chart. The most extreme projection is uh, 4.6.89 dollars. 6.89 dollars. Okay. So and then we also have probabilities here. The probability that over the next 10 trading sessions, that uh, it is going to SOUS stock will drop below its 10 day moving average which is at 3.86 3.89 .89 is 55.96 percent because simply because of the fact that the stock has um is trading at the premium to that that moving average so it will uh it will mean it will statistically imply that the chance of it dropping below that moving average will all be will always always be slightly higher so that probability is 55.96 uh, percent for it to drop below its 10 day moving average of 3.89 then probability of it remaining above it and probably extending further is 44.04 percent on the 20 day moving average it has a greater a greater probability probability the probability of probability that it will drop below its 20 day moving average over the next 20 trading sessions is uh uh it's 7.9 percent and that moving average is at 2.87 dollars and uh, the probability that you will stay above uh, that 20 day moving average over the next 20 trading sessions is 12.1%. Uh, 12.1%. So these are just statistical based on what has happened. It doesn't mean that that will be the case, you know. And uh, yes, that's that's that is, uh, what the probabilities are. The probabilities are just simply, you know, if you want to use determine the probability we have just uh, uh, have just given you now, you just uh, subtract the current price. From the moving average you have in we are looking at and then divide by the standard deviation over that period standard deviation over that that period so that's how we and then you go to a chart where you can probably uh find a inference of uh, that uh product that the product of um, your uh, calculation 
you know so there, there are a couple of uh, sites all out there that will help you determine uh, probabilities you know find the they give you probability charts where you find where you use the you know the the the, the outcome of uh, subtracting the the current price from um, or rather subtracting the moving average from the current price and then dividing by dividing by the the moving up by the um, standard deviation okay so it's just simply saying that um, so the difference between the current price and the moving average and the moving average out of the standard deviation you know is what the probability is to some extent but it's you have to further derive it further you know find an inference you know in that regard you know so um, that's what's going on for SOU and stock um, the probability that it's going to drop below its 10 day moving average 20 day moving average is it's 7.9% the probability that it will rise or remain above it is 12.1% the probability that it will drop uh, below its 10 day moving average over the next 10 trading sessions is 55.96% and above it or stay above it is 44.04% upper projections all the way to the most extreme at the moment is 687 and before that, and now before that, we have uh, 4.97. And before that, we have uh, 4.25. So, um, in the next video concerning a sound AI, these projections may change. So, it, as the stock moves, the projections will continue to change. They will, you know, yeah. So, see what you make of it, and I'll continue to update you. Thank you very much for watching this video.